Previously, I have discussed the physiology of blood pressure. In this video, I will explain one of the body's mechanism in regulating or maintaining blood pressure. There are several mechanisms through which the body regulates blood pressure. Baroreceptor reflex or baroreflex is one of the body's mechanism to maintain blood pressure homeostasis. Receptor are chemical structures composed of protein that receive and transduce signals which cause some form of cellular or tissue response. Biological receptors can be classified by the type of stimulus that generates a response in the receptor. Broadly, these receptors respond to one of these primary stimuli. Chemoreceptors for chemical stimulus, thermoreceptors for temperature, photoreceptors for light, and mechanoreceptors for pressure. Okay, so a baroreceptor is a mechanoreceptor. It's a nerve ending that is sensitive to changes in blood pressure. Their function is to sense pressure changes by responding to change in the tension of the arterial wall located in the aortic arc and carotid sinus. Varo reflex mechanism is a fast response to changes in blood pressure. In the event of a sudden rise of blood pressure, the baroreceptors located in these areas sense it because of the stretch in the wall of the aorta and carotid. This will stimulate the baroreceptor to fire stimulus higher than the normal rate and sends afferent signals via the glossopharyngeal nerve and vagus nerve to the nucleus tractus solitarius located here in the brain stem. In response to the increasing baroreceptor's impulse, the NTS activates the parasympathetic nervous system and inhibits sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system usually do opposite things in the body. The sympathetic nervous system prepares your body for physical and mental activity. It makes your heart beat faster and stronger, opens your airways so that you can breathe more easily, and inhibits digestion. The parasympathetic nervous system is responsible for bodily function when we are at rest, it stimulates digestion, activates various metabolic processes, help us to relax, decrease respiration, and heart rate. When the parasympathetic nervous system is activated, it decreases heart rate by releasing acetylcholine, which acts into the pacemaker cell of the sinoatrial node. Acetylcholine is the chief neurotransmitter of the parasympathetic nervous system that contracts smooth muscles, dilates blood vessels, increases bodily secretions, and slows heart rate if released into the heart's natural pacemaker, the SA node. Inhibition of the sympathetic nervous system will cause a decrease in heart rate, stroke volume, and vasodilation. Together, these effects will decrease blood pressure. Here is how these variables correlated. Decreased heart rate times decreased stroke volume equals decreased cardiac output. Because cardiac output is determined by the heart rate and stroke volume, and in equation this is cardiac output equals heart rate times stroke volume. Vasodilation will result in a decrease in systemic vascular resistance. Why I am stating this to you? Because blood pressure is determined by cardiac output and systemic vascular resistance. Therefore, a decrease in cardiac output and a decrease in systemic vascular resistance will result in a decrease in blood pressure. All right, how about sudden drop in blood pressure? In the event of a sudden drop in blood pressure, the baroreceptors sense this because of the decrease in tension in the aorta and carotid. As a result, 
the baroreceptors send fewer impulses to the nucleus tractus solitarius. The NTS then stimulates the autonomic nervous system to inhibit parasympathetic nervous system and stimulates sympathetic nervous system. The activation of the sympathetic nervous system will cause a release of norepinephrine or noradrenaline. Noradrenaline is a substance that is released predominantly from the end of sympathetic nerve fibers and that acts to increase the force of uh, skeletal muscles, constriction of the vessels, increase heart rate, and the force of contraction of the heart. When activated, sympathetic nervous system releases noradrenaline to the sinoatrial node to increase heart rate, to the cardiac myocytes or cardiac muscle to have a strong contraction, and to the blood vessels for vasoconstrictions. Increased heart rate, strong muscle contraction, and increased stroke volume are interrelated and cause high cardiac output, as stated in Starling's Laws of the Heart. I have a videos explaining cardiac output, stroke volume, which includes the Starling Laws of the Heart. Please watch that videos. So, if vasodilation will decrease systemic vascular resistance, vasoconstriction, on the other hand, will cause an increase in systemic vascular resistance. As a result, these physiological responses will cause increased blood pressure because increased cardiac output times increased systemic vascular resistance equals to increased blood pressure. This baroreceptor reflex responds only to acute changes in blood pressure. If hypertension or hypotension is still present after approximately one day, the baroreceptors will reset to the new blood pressure levels. However, there are another mechanism that responds to a chronic changes in the blood pressure, which is the topic of our next videos. Thank you for watching.